Hello, everyone. I am Ezekiel Bruni, writer, web designer, and general nerd. We're here at Website Planet, and if it sounds like I'm kind of getting rained on, it's because I kind of am. But more importantly, we're here to review a mailing service, a mail marketing service called Send in Blue. Send in Blue advertises itself as the smartest, most intuitive platform for growing businesses. And they certainly have put a fair amount of effort into business related tools. Now, whether those business related tools and everything are right for you and your company and everything you need to do, well, that remains to be seen. That's why I dove in uh, uh, as a, you know, an undercover customer and tried it out. I set up a few test emails to tested every feature I could. So yeah, this video review is based on my own experiences, as well as a written review that I already post uh, had published on Website Planet. There will be a link to that review in the description of the YouTube video because there's a lot more info and generally useful details that you'll want to know. All right, without further ado, let's get into it. So let's start with what you're probably here for, which is how to actually create a campaign. Send in Blue actually has some pretty interesting stuff. It has a couple of different um, a drag and drop editors. I would recommend the new one, naturally. And you can start from scratch. You can also import templates from elsewhere or code your own in a rich text editor or just straight up paste HTML code, you know, to like manually create emails if you want to do it that way. But the much, much easier way to do it is to select the template gallery and pick a template. All in all, I think they look pretty good. They range between extremely minimalist and extremely colorful and vibrant. Some of them look a little da dated, but all in all, I don't really have any complaints. So many of the, these templates generally all look quite good. Let's just pick this one and go. Now, as is par for the course for these email builders, the actual design is pretty uh, simple. The actual designer, the actual editor is pretty simple to use. The content background, you can just change that color. I'm just gonna leave it at more or less as it was. You can change the text appearance, so you can change the, the look of headings and uh, body text. It's all very, very simple, very easy stuff. And the actual content, you know, you know just Drag a headline in, although that one for some reason is, doesn't match the rest of the styling. So you'll have to, you know, fiddle with styling when you drag new content in. Um, let's see. Let's put in the text here and... Okay, that's odd. This text box. There we go. Now it worked. <laughs> uh, that was almost embarrassing. Um, for either me or the, the or Send in Blue. But it, as you can see, once it stops being fiddly, it's easy enough to just drag and drop content in. Any images, social links, or text you want. Uh, the layout options are rather limited, but then this is email. The layout options in emails, period, are rather limited. It's a technology thing. But all in all, not bad, not bad at all. I think it w works pretty great. You can also access version history, so you know you can go back to different versions of the email. You can preview it, all that good stuff. It's a simple builder, very simple, very streamlined. Uh, not a ton of features, but I have not, you know, sometimes you don't want that. Sometimes you just want to put some content in and go. You can A, B test your designs. If you pay for one of the premium plans or, one, or an add-on, you can, you know, test different versions of your design to see which ones perform better. And now, Let's move on to some of the other non-email creation features. Let's talk about how contacts are handled. Contacts are pretty darned easy to handle overall. You can add a contact manually, you know, the hard way, or you can import your contacts. You can use a CSV file, an Excel file, or regular text file, or you can just copy and paste contacts from spreadsheet or you can create a landing page. We won't be getting into the landing page feature. You, you can't access it unless you're on a play, paid plan. So, but um, it, uh, there is, I do have a screenshot in the full written review, hint, hint, link below. And you can embed forms in your website to collect information like say for a newsletter. So, you know, adding contacts is easy enough. 
And you can search, use advanced uh, search and segmentation to create a dynamically updating lists of emails. So, you know, you can select people who buy, people who've actually read your emails, who've opened one, uh, all campaigns, whenever, and search. And this lists the test emails I used to actually open <laughs> My uh, to actually open my uh, my you know the, my the test emails that I sent, and you can save these filters to easily access or send specific emails to people who meet these specific conditions. It's called segmentation. It's great. You can also automate your email workflows. Now automation. Uh, let's see. Let's take a look at the workflow examples. So automation. It's. Uh, it's an interesting concept. Basically, it allows you to send emails if certain conditions are met, but not like, so like if someone clicks a link on your website, if someone who's already subscribed to your newsletter, for example, clicks a link on your website to your newest, latest and greatest product, but they don't buy it, say four days later, you could send an email that says, hey, weren't you maybe interested in this? So yeah, this is a workflow. The, the workflow, the automation workflow builder is, rather simple and takes a minute to load so creating an automation is actually pretty simple you can use these basic templates to get started you can say send an abandoned cart email uh, an email from when a product has been purchased a welcome message let's go with a welcome message so this starts with contact added to list list name new contacts wait for two days and then send email we'll just create this and overall, the the workflow editor is pretty simple. You can add steps. You like you can add contacts to list, remove contacts from lists, add a delay. Uh, you know, go to another step in the workflow. You can create complex workflows that do interesting things and automate all bunch of your email stuff, which let me tell you simplifies life a lot. Lastly, a couple of quick things. Email statistics are great. You can get some fairly detailed reports about who's opening your emails, who's clicking on links, who's unsubscribing, all of that good stuff to help you decide how to best market to your customers. And lastly, there is an app center, which frankly, most of the apps are already integrated. Uh, like so these apps are all made by uh, Send in Blue. So you've got things like your customer relations management software, live chat software, transactional emails, SMS campaigns. But you can also integrate with um, you know, other services, let's say Intercom or Mailjet, Pipedrive and SurveyMonkey. And that's all, you know, it's not a huge add-on or app store, but you know, there are some useful tools in there, so keep those in mind. All right, let's get to some of the other experiences I've had with this. There are some other things you need to know before we wrap up. For one, deliverability. Your emails will probably go where they're supposed to go. Now, I can't give you a specific number. 43% deliverability rate, you know, we can't give you specific numbers like that. The internet doesn't work like that. There are way too many variables. But Send in Blue does have DKIM authentication, which basically tells email services with, with encryption that the emails you've sent are really indeed from you. They have a strong anti-spam policy, which is important because if your emails come from the same server as spam, your emails are less likely to go through. Send in Blue actually uses manual as in human verification of all new customers and their accounts before they can send any email. I actually couldn't get verified. We had to contact some people and I had to get a demo account that way, which you know kind of blows the whole undercover thing, if I'm honest, but there you go. You know, I had to finagle my way into an account I could use to demo the service. It was difficult, but we got there in the end. Uh, on the uh, downside, though, um, lots of email marketing platforms have filters. So if you upload known spam filters or what look like gibberish emails, they will get blocked. Unfortunately, Send in Blue didn't even throw up a warning. So w once you are logged in, you can upload, uh, like, you, know, you send emails to questionable ac email accounts. It's not great. Send in Blue does allow affiliate marketing, so that could possibly affect how the service is perceived by email providers, so keep an eye on that. You can get a dedicated IP address, though that should help. Dedicated IP addresses mean that your email will look like it's coming from a separate server from all of the other email Send in Blue sends, which means, you know, um, it's more your email is more likely to be trusted, or at least it's not coming from the same server as spam, which is good. 
Now, even on the free plan, Send in Blue's support is actually pretty good. You can use one of two contact forms. Uh, one is located on the contact page and one is located on a, a little pop-up in the help center. And you can email the team that way. And basically it's just email, but it's available 24 seven. I got all responses within about five hours. Now that doesn't seem like a great amount of time, especially if you're, uh, <laughs> especially if you're on in the middle of an emergency, but I'm in Mexico uh, and I was sending them really late at night. So the, the time zones are a factor there. And lastly, let's talk about the pricing. Uh, I can't put specific prices here. Again, link in the description. The review will have constantly, consistently updated prices, all, always the latest prices. So you'll know exactly how much everything costs. But um, at the time of this review, Send in Blue isn't the cheapest. It's not. Uh, the free plan is meant for just evaluating the service. It's not something you can use long term, but it's a pretty decent evaluation, all things considered. Send in Blue is decent. It, I have a few actual complaints, truth be told. It's a serviceable service that does the service thing. You know, it, it didn't blow me away. I like the automation tools and the option of the custom coded email templates. I do like that. But uh, you'll frankly get all the same features and more from a competitor like GetResponse. Well, that's about it for now. I hope you found this video educational, useful, helpful. Send in blue, decent. That's basically too long didn't read. That's the too long didn't read. Uh, this, I'll see you all in the next review. This is Ezekiel Bruni signing out.